Hi gamers! Here we have every single released Nintendo 64 controller. As you can see Nintendo went a bit overboard with these. There are a total of 30 differently colored controllers. And uh, if you're counting the different variations to their packaging, you got uh, way more than that. And so here I have uh, every one of those 30 differently colored controllers and uh, pretty much every noteworthy variant even to their packaging right here. So uh, it has taken me years to get here and actually my work isn't quite ready yet because to get to this point I have just made a trade in which I got two missing controllers for myself but I'm, I was also forced to trade away one of my controllers so uh, I'm, after all this is done, uh, I'm going to be missing still one controller, but while I still haven't finished the trade completely, uh, I do have every single one of these in my house. So I thought I'd commemorate this, uh, actually the first of a kind occurrence ever to have every single controller together here. So I thought I'd commemorate it with this video. So let's go through all of these colors uh, in more depth. First up, the regular colors that were available right from the start. Here we have the Western packaging. It was the, pretty much the same in Europe and the US. And here is the Japanese coloring of the box. And below, the actual controller. So we have grey, black, green, blue, red and yellow. Nintendo also released these see-through controllers which were known as fantastic controllers. And uh, there were six of them and uh, uh, not all of them were available uh, for separate purchase in every country. Uh, many of these controllers, uh, all of these controllers were available in different console bundles, but uh, this collection is just about the individually sold controllers. So in these blister packs we have all six sealed uh, uh, that were sold in the US and in these red and white boxes are controllers that were only uh, available in Australia and finally here is the Japanese version. So the colors were a grape, a fire, ice, jungle, smoke and watermelon. And as you can see the smoke and watermelon were not sold in Australia at all and uh, in Japan there were only the grape and smoke colors although the grape was actually called midnight blue over there. Moving up here to the other side another sealed blister pack only sold in Toys R Us in the US. This is a gold controller and in Japan there were two different variations to the box uh, a golden and a white box, but the controller is the same in all regions. This is a bit of an exception to the rule that uh, this uh, collection only contains individually sold controllers because these were not available anywhere else. These uh, dual colored Pokemon controllers, one is uh, yellow blue and other is blue yellow and these were only available in these console bundles were not sold separately and in Japan they also had these differently colored orange uh, yellow and light blue yellow controllers that say Pikachu these ones say Pokemon on the top and these say Pikachu Moving on, some more see-through controllers. First up here, uh, a blue top and a clear bottom uh, that was sold separately in Europe only. And here are 
Japanese variations to the blue one and also there is a red or pink top and clear bottom. And here are the controllers themselves with their dual colors. More see-through stuff. Here is the clear purple controller and uh, also in uh, different regions it was sold just as a clear purple or in the US atomic purple with this uh, logo here and also it was sold in Japan as well in this white box. Only available in the US. Extreme green, quite a fetching color, quite unique. And here is a Japanese specialty, just a regular black top and grey bottom here. This is actually quite rare. This was also sold with Mario Kart bundled with the game in Japan. But this uh, individual box is actually quite rare. So if you see one of these in Japan, be sure to snap it up. It's quite valuable. Moving on into special editions that were pretty much sold only in uh, stores. Here we are uh, in uh, specific stores. Here we have the Dye Hawks special edition, which has a see through orange top and a black bottom. The Jusco 30th anniversary, which has a grey top and uh, clear or white bottom. And here are actually the two uh, rarest controllers on this whole collection to have in complete form. These do float around in loose form, but for some reason the boxes are really, really rare for these two controllers. And actually this is the one that I'm trading away here. So that one I'm going to be hunting uh, later on still. So these are the Jeffrey uh, that was all, only sold in Japan in uh, Toys R Us stores and the rarest of them all, Hello Mac. Only sold in Hello Mac stores. And these are just uh, pretty basic looking black grey controllers which have a special emblem here with Jeffrey the Giraffe and the Hello Mac logo here. So don't look that special but are really the rarest of them all here. Finally a couple of promo controllers. Uh, the first three of here were available through Nintendo Power. So this uh, just has this little uh, sticker here that just says Nintendo Power 100 to commemorate the 100th issue, lo issue of the magazine. Just a gold controller. DK64, which is a yellow controller that has uh, these brown tips, makes the controller look like a banana. Millennium 2000, just a glare here, uh, which uh, is quite a striking looking controller, has a, a silver top and black bottom, and this is the only controller out of all of these color variations that has differently colored buttons as well. So uh, black D-pad and black action buttons here as well. And also the ring around the analog stick is also black instead of gray. And finally here also a very rare controller. Uh, this uh, legend has it that this was given out as prizes at E3 1997 at a Star Fox competition and also these were given to key personnel at Nintendo. But uh, they have trickled down to collectors as well. It has a golden top and a black bottom and has this uh, golden N emblem here. But just beware of um, 
counterfeits. Some low lives have discovered that it is pretty easy to replicate, so be careful when purchasing these. But there are some real ones out there for sure. And that was it. The full Nintendo 64 controller collection. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.